Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can get the previous and throw value. So in this case what do I have is the date. So I want to get let's say the previous third date, fourth date for example in front of fifth I want to show third or in front of sixth I want to go three step back and show the third. So how I can do that and once I have the date I can also get all the related value. Uh, that is related to that particular row like for example I want to get sales based on in front of sixth which is the for the third uh, of January so how I can do that how I can get that particular date so what I will going to use is basically the uh, the uh, scenario that I covered earlier that is based on the uh, getting the previous row value so previous row value if for the second scenario over here I have shown it that this is the uh, this is how you can get it where previous order date we want to get based on the max x function we are specifying that we want all the order date because we don't want an impact and then order date is less than equals to the current value which is the uh, what is shown into the table and then based on this filter table give us the order date which is a single order date of the previous row so if I just bring it over here you will see that now in front of fourth what do we have is basically the third right and in front of fifth we have four in front of sixth we have five right so on and so forth so i will use this and i what i'll do is i will copy this and create a new measure because this is the scenario number four that i'm covering and i'm giving the proper numbering over here so that anytime i have to reference it i can easily reference like what scenario i have given so 4.1 is this and now in the same function the way i need to do this is in the selected value i need to modify this that how many steps i want to go back okay i want to go two step back so i'm saying minus two remember date is always a number right that's why we can specify this operation very easily on the dates right so we have 4.1 let's bring it over here now if you see in front of six we have third right so this way you can have uh, by default there is nothing but minus one one step back two two step back three three step back and then you can get it that's the small modification I wanted to show you as to how you can get it so i hope you liked it and if you want to grab this workbook which i have shown it over here where i have the table scenarios you can uh, get it based on the information i have given in the description on and also the data set and everything is is present in the description and let me just show you quickly so that you can follow along with me if you need it so the link i have given in the description will bring you over here in my data set folder in the data set folder i have this data set sheet and in the data set uh, set sheet i have the row number 19 where this data is present and if you want to grab all of my 300 plus videos on the power bi uh, where you can search any of the video very easily as you can see all of the videos are present over here dashboards are highlighted in some different color and the link is present in the column b as you can see video link also trying to maintain this not very regular but trying to maintain this so if you want to grab this you can again information everything is present in the description follow that and you know get your learning objective satisfied with that let me meet you with the next video with a new topic